know, some people ask the question, what can you really get out of hard times? What can you really get out of bad times, out of tribulations, when it seems like life is unraveling? And there seems to be no answer for the problems that you currently are going through. I believe, dearly beloved, in those very times that we can glory even in our tribulations. Because in that process, God, our Father, by His Holy Spirit, is refining us into fine gold. And not only into fine gold, but shaping and molding our attitude and our minds into the mind of Christ. The Word of God says in Romans 5, the third verse, And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulations work at patience. How many of us ask the Lord for patience? But we want the Lord to pour patience upon us as though we are able to receive it uh, in a state of osmosis. He poured on us and it just uh, uh, um, kind of penetrate into us. Dearly beloved, it does not work that way. In order for us to gain patience, there must be something that's in our life that contests us, that tests us that we will prove to ourselves that we have gotten to that place of being very patient. And so as the Word says, we are to glory in tribulations, knowing that in that tribulations will come patience. And dearly beloved, that's one of the greatest virtue that you and I can have as a believer, is to have Patience. It was God's patience that brought Noah into the ark. It was God's patience that allowed Jesus Christ to come to the earth and die for all mankind. It was God's patience that saved multitudes of individuals. It is God's patience that saved you today. So what God wants to uh, um, uh, envelop or develop in us is patience. Just like the, the wise virgins who took enough of all with them and they patiently awaited on their Lord. Well, just imagine the other virgins whom the scripture called the foolish virgins. They awaited on the Lord, but guess what? They did not wait with patience. Do you, do you realize how unnerved they must have been when they recognized that, that, that their all was running out and that their Lord had not come yet and that it was right on the verge of running out? You realize that patience had escaped them, and they wanted to get all from those who were standing there who went back and got more all because they was not sure on the return of the bridegroom. So dearly beloved, I say to you today in the name of Jesus Christ, tribulation has its purpose in your life. So don't shun it. Don't Hide from it, accept it in its fullness. Because God said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. Amen? So we can know this. God, by His Spirit, even in tribulations, He will be with you. Not allowing anything greater on you than you are able to withstand. You know, many believers want out of this world. 
and they're waiting for that day of they we call the rapture so that we might be taken away and we will not go through anything but dearly beloved when you read the scriptures and you understand the scriptures you would understand that many of God's choicest saints were martyred they were killed in different fashion dearly beloved you and I need to be willing to take whatever God brings in our lives and know that God's hand is tempering it so that it will not destroy our faith but will simply strengthen our faith and then give us patience that we might endure to the very end. Dearly beloved, it is not the word that you know, but the word that you understand that gives you the victory.